I'll start in English and then I'll self-translate. Uh, we're very excited uh, to host uh, the Spartan races, the Spartan Games. I want to congratulate you, Joe, for the job that you've done globally and the fact that you're putting more and more of a center of gravity into the mother country and to the mother city, which is uh, Sparta. We had a very good discussion yesterday and we talked about why do people need to engage in heavy type endurance uh, exercises and races. And the answer came about 844 prize. This is because if you're fit, you can defend your freedom. If you're not fit, you will be bullied around by whoever can bully you around. And this was the ultimate purpose. Be physically healthy live a healthier life and be able to defend your freedom from tyranny and defend your freedom from outside the forces. We're looking to expand our relationship in many, many ways that uh, Joe is more of an expert uh, to explain. Uh, we have uh, a record amount of participation, I think, of uh, athletes and we expect to expand that as we become more and more famous around the world and for this particular Spartan Games because they're very popular all over the world where you're participating but now being in the mother country, in the mother city, it has an extra meaning for all of us. The city of Sparta and the people of Sparta have embraced uh, what you have been doing. Uh, we'll go out of our way to accommodate and facilitate you. I know you have some plans that we like very much and you can explain more as to how we can expand uh, that relationship. So thank you very much for being here. Thank you. And uh, I hope the games are super and uh, the best man and the best woman uh, wins. I will tr just translate uh, into Greek for just a second. Today we must have to see as many who feel like we have all the support of Sparks and Rays in the world. Έχουμε ρεκόρ συμμετοχών, περίπου 2.000 αθλητέ. Αν βάλει και συγγενεί και φίλου που έρχονται μαζί του, μιλάμε για πολύ μεγαλύτερο αριθμό που βοηθάει όλη την κίνηση στην πόλη, αλλά και βοηθάει και τη διεθνή παρουσία τη πόλη μα, γιατί παρακολουθείτε ε, σε πολλά μέρη του κόσμου το τι γίνεται εδώ. Ε, θα έχουμε πάρα πολύ στενή συνεργασία με τον Σόου. Έχει και κάποιε άλλε ιδέε, τι οποίε θα ήθελα ο ίδιο να τι ανακοινώσει και για τις οποίες θα το βοηθήσουμε να τι προχωρήσει όσο πιο γρήγορα μπορεί. Ε, έχει τεθεί πολλέ φορέ το ερώτημα γιατί να σκοτώνεται κανεί στην άσκηση και να συμμετέχει σε τέτοιου σκληρού αγώνε ε, και να ταλαιπωρείται τόσο πολύ. Και απάντηση είχε δοθεί από τον Λουκούργο το 830-840 το π.Χ. Παίρνουμε τα παιδάκια και τα ασκούμε από την ηλικία των 7 χρονών για να μπορούν να προστατεύσουν την ελευθερία του. Διότι όταν είσαι δυνατό και ισχυρό και γυμνασμένο και έχει και το μυαλό σου δουλεύει σωστά, τότε μπορεί να είσαι ένα ελεύθερο πολίτη και να μην έχει ούτε εσωτερικού τυράννου, ούτε να φοβάσαι του εξωτερικού εχθρού. Αυτή ήταν η βασική ιδέα, την οποία συζητήσαμε χθε και την οποία ο Ραμτζό ενστερνίζεται πλήρω. Ε, το χαιρέτησα και του είπα ότι η πόλη θα κάνει ό,τι μπορεί και να βοηθήσει αυτή τη συγκεκριμένη προσπάθεια και να διευρύνουμε αυτή τη συνεργασία που έχουμε ώστε το αποτύπωμα τη πόλη μα τη Πάρτη να γίνει διεθνώ πολύ πολύ ευρύτερο. I translate and I give the floor to you, Joe, and uh, be assured that we'll be very closely working with you. Incredibly exciting uh, to be here. I uh, started this, this journey 20 years ago, uh, believe it or not. So to be in 45 plus countries, um, and then not have come to Sparta yet is almost an embarrassment for me. I'm embarrassed for myself. When we finally came here, my partners pushed me to come to Sparta. It was so obvious that we should be here. So now, now we're here, the feeling's amazing. I know any athletes from anywhere in the world, when they come here, it's not only uh, the mother country, it's the mother and the father country. It's like, it's every, it's every, this is everything. So um, incredible that you're, you're willing to support it, not only individually as the mayor, but but the whole town and city gets behind it, the country gets behind it, and um, we couldn't do it without you. So thank you to everybody um, for, for opening up uh, your city to us. We want to expand the relationship, as you mentioned. Uh, we want to go even further. Maybe we could bring other sports here at the same time to even fill the city um, in an even more impactful way. And I and, uh, love the fact that you're open-minded to this. So, um, even one of the other things we spoke about last night was, wouldn't it be amazing if we found a place in the city 
where we could etch the names of all the trifecta finishers into, into a wall or somewhere that would stand the test of time. I think it would bring people from all over the world uh, to come see their names in, in history. So we're very excited. We want to thank everybody. And um, we're waiting for our athletes to show up who are probably still sleeping and getting ready for the big event because they've got big money on the line. Oh, Elv is there. We, no, got, we do have Harley. Harley, I don't know if you want to come up for a second. Why don't you come up for one second? He, he um, Mayor, you may not uh, know, but he it, uh, holds more trifectas than anyone. So he's done, he's done more um, three race. <laughs> sit down, sit down. He's done more three race events uh, than anybody in the world. What, what are you up to now? You could you can grab that. Mic. Seven three. 73, and you're going to hit 100 by next, by next year this time. Yes. And, and if he hits 100, I told him uh, you would give him the keys to the city. Absolutely. We will. We'll make him a citizen. we we'll make, we'll make you a citizen. Yeah, this is a Perfect official. Yes. Yeah. You get your own shield and helmet. Yes. Nice. So, <laughs> how long does it take to get 100? About another year. One year? No, well, he's up to 73. Like 73. So he has, 20, he has 27 left to go. And, and if he goes there, we should do, we should do a celebration. Okay, yeah. Now, he's never been on a podium. So he's one of these guys that <laughs> he just, he doesn't, as hard as he works, he just doesn't give that extra effort. But we're working on this. Get him close. Got an extra effort. After all, we will have He needs a little extra effort. Hello. Are you next for sweeping or? I go to Hong Kong. Hong Kong, he's, he's, very, he's, he's strategically picking locations around the world where he can get three races done in one week. So I got Hong Kong next week, then Oman the following week. How many would uh, participate in Hong Kong? Uh, Hong Kong, I'm guessing David would know, probably, or Arno, maybe seven or eight thousand. So, and yeah. which is the largest participation city? Well, in China, I mean, we've had races with 20,000 plus. So they just, they have the population. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they have the population, but as far as we have the strength. Yeah, it's a Well, it's the home line. I love it. It's my third year. City, so it. And we'll try to make it better and more efficient than year by year. So. Yeah. You, came, you, expect you. you came last year. You were yeah, that was your first two years, so it's my third year. Third year. I love it. You can't get enough of it. I love it. It's a special place. Uh -huh. Where were you born? Where you? Jamaica. Oh, you come from Jamaica, so you have a tradition there of uh, <laughs> super <laughs> ideas. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get those jeans. <laughs> I didn't get those jeans, but I love the sport and I, I travel wherever. With all the wins, you don't have the jeans? He didn't win. He has not won one race. No. He only completes them. <laughs> okay, so, 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 so I'm getting there. We're going to the race question. <laughs> Just finishing all this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Three years ago, on a on a good athletic base, but it took 
three, four years to get to this point. And that was refining all the different skill sets that you need to be a part of. And kind of working on the mental game and then the nutrition and every little thing that really goes into it. And do you have a job on top of that or is it a full time? Now this is my full time job. It's a full time job. Yeah. That, that's been kind of recent in the last year. And I, before that, I was working at the AT and I had plans to go to medical school, to PA school, and that, uh, my, my goals just kind of shifted a little bit because I was provided this amazing opportunity to compete full time as an athlete. That's excellent. For how many years more do you think you can do it? How old is Robin? 37. Okay, so I got at least six, four years. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, if I'm correct, whoever wins uh, these races is in for the million? Yeah, if these, if these two um, win this next event, um, next three events here this weekend, then they are uh, two out of three towards the million dollars. Αν κερδίσουν αυτού του αγώνε και τον επόμενο, θα πάρει όποιο κερδίσει από του δύο εδώ, θα πάρει ένα εκατομμύριο δολάρια. Οπότε έχει υπάρξει και ένα ακόμη πιο σκληρό κίνητρο. Uh, I'm going to take 
the opposite stance. I don't think the competition has really changed in the last year or two. Um, it's all the same guys. Everyone's kind of pushing for the same thing. Uh, I think where it has changed is that there's been um, a greater focus on rules and following the rules uh, to the letter and a greater focus on enforcing those rules. And that's kind of made people maybe a little more edgy and, um, and focused on trying to uh, follow the rules, not get penalized, and do their best to kind of adhere to everything that's said. So um, I think we can all hope for clean races uh, in the upcoming days, um, healthy competition, and uh, fun course. Um, so it's kind of hard. With the women's field, it's a little bit different. I don't think there's, I don't think there's quite as much drama. Um, <laughs> so there, there's definitely a heightened sense of competition when it comes to the women's field. I think everyone's everyone's kind of up their game, and you see that in um, the depth. Uh, the, the top ten women is a lot closer together in past years compared to past years, and also there's a lot of interchanging. So there's, from, from race to race, you'll see a different top five, you'll see a different top 10 um, in a different order. So I think that the competition is definitely growing. There's more depth, there's more people coming into the sport, which is awesome. And I think that at a certain point, probably will create a little more tension, and little tiny things will, will mean the difference between winning and losing. So that actually, yeah, will definitely increase how much making. But the women's field is a little bit, a little bit different right now. Yeah. Και οι τρεις αθλητές μας είπαν ότι έχουν μεγάλη εμπειρία στους αγώνες, ότι υπάρχει μια διαφορά μεταξύ των αγώνων που παραμονοποιούνται στην Αμερικάνικη ή περιοχή στην Ευρωπαϊκή, ότι εδώ πέρα κυρίως οι αγώνες της Πάρτη νιώθουν πολύ πιο excited για την ουσιαστικά για τη συμμετοχή τους και για το τι περιμένουν από ένα παγκόσμιο πρωτάθλημα. Και ειδικά ο Νικόλο στο τέλο μα είπε ότι είναι πολύ ιδιαίτερο το συνέστημα, ειδικά για μια γυναίκα που λαμβάνει μέρο σε ένα τέτοιο είδο αγώνα. Άλλη ερώτηση. Σχετικά με τα παιδιά, τι σκέφτονται να κάνουν από τώρα, δεν θα του πει δεν μα το καταφράσατε. Μου είπε ο κύριο να κάνει άλλου αγώνε. Είναι αυτή που είπατε κάτι για κάτι άλλους αγώνες και θα μας το πει ο κύριος, δεν το μεταφράσατε. Προβλέπουμε κάτι άλλους αγώνες. Ναι, προβλέπει κάτι άλλους αγώνες, θα αφήσει να πει αυτός όταν θέλει. The question is that you have in mind to expand the Spartan Games and to also add some other type of game. And this is the question if you want to comment on it. What kind of other games would you be interested in? Yeah, so, so, um, Definitely want to expand uh, the games. Hopefully, we, we can drive uh, participation rates uh, to double and triple where they are today uh, with, with obstacle course racing in Sparta. But we'd also love to, to bring in some other sports as well. Maybe combat seems to be very natural for uh, this city. Uh, wrestling, jujitsu, etc. So excited about exploring that with with you, Mayor. Η απάντηση είναι ότι εκτό από το ότι θα θέλει να διπλασιάσει και τον αριθμό. Η απάντηση είναι ότι εκτό από ότι θα ήθελε να διπλασιάσει και αυτού που συμμετέχουν στου αγώνε εδώ και κάθε χρόνο να είναι αρκετά περισσότεροι, θέλει να επεκταθεί και σε άλλου είδου αγώνε. Και το πρώτο που έχει κατά νου είναι αγώνε διαφόρων μορφών. Πάλις, δηλαδή η καράτε, η ουζίτσου, η νορομανική, η παγκράτεια κλπ. Από μια λίστα που έχει κατά νου και να φέρει πάρα πολύ κόσμο κατά πρώτο λόγο στη Σπάρτη, που να αγωνιστεί ίσω και μονίμω στη Σπάρτη, που να αγωνίζονται σε τέτοια αθλήματα. Και μιλάει για αθλητέ τη τάξη των 2-3-4-5.000 ατόμων, θα αγωνίζονται σε αυτά τα κάπω πιο πολεμικά σπόρ. Επομένω, αυτό δεν προέχει κάτι κατά νου και αυτό προσπαθεί να προγραμματίσει τώρα. Και το είπαμε ότι φυσικά εμεί είμαστε στη διάθεσή του και βεβαίω και θα θέλαμε τέτοιου αγώνε στην κοινή των αγώνων που είναι η Σπαρτέ. Άλλη ερώτηση για τα άλλα questions. 
want to ask Robert, um, what's different for you as an athlete going into a trifecta weekend versus a, just a single race? How does the trifecta differ? Um, how is it more special or more, more challenging for you? Quiero decir también que afuera, afuera la blogs para la bona, se tocó para ir a la línea todas las partes, solo otra efecta huye. Yeah, I mean, from my experiences in Austria, the trifecta weekend, uh, the format's a little different here because we do the beast on Sunday, so you kind of got to go in a little bit more relaxed. Uh, there we do it first. And uh, all three races back to back are tough. Like, I just finished Sunday in California, the Tejon Beast, and Sprint back to back, and I'm still a little sore from that. So I can't imagine what it's going to be like doing three races with, you know, Ryan, Ryan, um, Albert Soleil, Aaron, there's a lot of guys from Tahoe that didn't race this race, race last year, which just shows you the competition actually is improving and it is getting steeper. Because there's more guys that are at this race tomorrow who were, who were here last year and they're from Tahoe, did really well. So we're going to go into the race, we're literally at each other's throats, destroying ourselves a week before Sweden where we're going to go five days later and run another 24 hours. So I think, uh, yeah, it's extremely tough this weekend. I'm like any race weekend that I've done before, and I'm not really sure how to approach that. My approach is you just kind of go trial by error. You just show up, give everything you have that day, and if it's your best, you'll stand out above top. I mean, Ryan hit, hit it perfectly. You have to have a clean race. Um, if you mess you know, any obstacles up or you don't abide by the rules, it's going to get you a penalty that's going to set you back from like first to fifth or six, I mean, there's just a lot of athletes who don't make mistakes anymore. So having those few errors show up, you know, is, is far and few between um, nowadays. But uh, yeah, just go out and have fun. One race at a time, I think that's the best mentality because you're going to make mistakes. You can't um, let those kind of throw you off. You have to just keep, you know, at your game plan and keep it cool and have fun out there. Ουσιαστικά μα είπε ο Ρόμπερτ ότι η διαφορά που υπάρχει μεταξύ των απλών αγώνων και του τραϊφέκτα weekend είναι ότι σε έναν απλό αγώνα μπορεί να κάνει κάποια λάθη. Εδώ πέρα στο κομμάτι των τριών αγώνων που πρέπει να τρέξει κανεί δύο το Σάββατο και έναν την Κυριακή, ε, μπορεί ουσιαστικά περισσότερο να το διασκεδάσει. Αλλά είναι και ένα, μια πνευματική δοκιμασία στην οποία θα πρέπει να προσέξει πάρα πολύ κανεί στρατηγικά πώ λειτουργεί το μυαλό και το σώμα του ώστε να μπορέσει να βγάλει. Αυτό το αρκετά κοπιαστικό και κουραστικό τριχνίδεο. One brief interjection that we talked with Joe yesterday. We will try to convince the Greek Olympic Committee to be positive in your effort to make the Spartan race an Olympic sport. So our next step will be to talk to Mr. Kapranos, who is the head of the Olympic Committee in a very competent person to start thinking positive about it and then talk positively to his uh, colleagues at uh, the in Geneva. Leo, the ένα τα πράγματα που συζητήσαμε με τον Joe Hess είναι ότι θα προσπαθήσουμε να αφήσουμε την Ελληνική Ολυμπιακή Επιτροπή να δει το θέμα της ένταξης του Spartan Race στο Ολυμπιακό πρόγραμμα, το επίσημο Ολυμπιακό πρόγραμμα Καταρχήν, έχοντα μια θετική άποψη, μετά ποιε είναι οι διαδικασίε εκεί, θα τι δούμε. Αλλά καταβάλει ήδη ο Τζο μια προσπάθεια και εμεί είπαμε ότι θα κοιτάξουμε τουλάχιστον την Ελληνική Ολυμπιακή Επιτροπή να τη φέρουμε προ την κατεύθυνση αυτή, δηλαδή να συνηγορήσει και αυτή υπέρ τη ένταξη του Spartan Race στου Ολυμπιακού Αγώνε και το Ολυμπιακό Πρόγραμμα. Σα uh, the question was, uh, what does it mean to me uh, to be in Sparta? I don't know if you want to translate that in Greek. The question was, what does it mean to me to be in Sparta? I don't know if you So I'll, I'll sum it up with uh, a text that I sent this morning. My, my oldest friend, uh, we know each other for 46 years. He, he said, what are you doing? I said, I'm in Sparta, Greece. He said, how is it? I said, I feel like I'm back home. So uh, that's what it feels like. Η απάντηση είναι ότι έστειλε σήμερα σε έναν από του καλύτερου του φίλου που γνωρίζονται 46 χρόνια ότι ήταν ενημέρωση ότι θα βρίσκεται στη Σπάρτη. Του απάντησε ο φίλο του πώ νιώθει γι' αυτό και το είπε ότι νιώθει σαν να έχω ήδη στρέψει το σπίτι μου. 
Λάκο Γιάννη από το δικό μα ενημέρωση, Μπέστη και λοιπόν του Βεστέσσα, θα ήθελα να κάνω μια ερώτηση. Τι γίνεται τώρα, Γιάννη. Θα καλωσορίσουμε βεβαίω τον Λάκο Γιάννη από Μπέστη και λοιπόν του Βεστέσσα. Θα ήθελα να ρωτήσω με αφορμή την περσινή δήλωση του Μυστέρη Τζόντε Σένα. Είναι η επένδυση που έχει κάνει, που έχει πραγματοποιήσει εδώ στο Δημοσπάρτη. Αν έχει προχωρήσει και διαδικασία, το σχετικό ήταν μια σχολή ίσω πάντα καθ' όλη τη διάρκεια του έτου και αν υπάρχει κάποια εξέλιξη σε αυτή τη υλοποίηση του σχεδίου του Μισελτζόντε. Σα ευχαριστώ. Την κορυφή του Μισελτζόντε, η κορυφή του Μισελτζόντε, η κορυφή του Μισελτζόντε, η κορυφή του Μισελτζόντε, η κορυφή του Μισελτζόντε, And what's your thoughts and uh, your views about this? Uh, thoughts and vision about making the investment we've made in Sparta so far. We think it's it's uh, it's paid dividends, tremendous dividends. I think uh, the whole world is is uh, looking at this event now as a legitimate world championship. It comes back to its roots. Uh, the mayor so um, awesomely laid out last night. Listen, the reason you do the hard work is to make sure you've got freedom from bullies, from disease, from this, from that. And so this is exactly where we're supposed to be. So we're going to invest anywhere. Look, I know if many of these athletes win the million dollars, they would probably put the money back in this bar, I think. <laughs> I, have a, I have a question. Okay. The question was yeah. more in terms of would you be considering making a permanent training camp or permanent fighting camp or something <laughs> along the banks of the Brothers River or something like that, or a more permanent I, nature? I, I would love to be here permanently myself, so yes. But, but I have a question for the athletes. Um, what would you do if you won a million dollars? It's the same to answer, you know, one sentence. You want to translate it first? The question would be to ask a question. Ήταν τι θα κάνουν με το 1 εκατομμύριο δολάρια αν είναι αυτοί που το κερδίζουν. Well, after uh, old Uncle Sam takes about 30%, I have about 700,000 left. I've done the math. And uh, I owe about 450 on my current mortgage. So that leaves me about 300k. So we chopped that million down to a quarter really quick. But uh, yeah, I think I would invest uh, some more, like you're saying, the OCR. Or just It would probably prolong my career, I think, a, a little bit longer to be able to hang on and keep doing this or move more into uh, coaching. I think that's what I'm going to eventually transfer into. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.